What is going on, Gang of Lang? We're back with yet another tier list. And this time around, Frail is gonna have me rank some of the best natural disasters in the world and how cool they are. Jesus Christ, man, that's morbid as hell. Like, what is cool about natural disasters, man? You know, people die from them constantly, and what you're doing right now is incredibly insensitive. Okay, man, what do you want me to do? This is the script for the intro that Frail gave me, and yes, I also think it's incredibly messed up that I have to rank these natural disasters. But this is what we have to do today. Hmm, and who the hell are you to say anything about my moral compass? You're literally one of the worst people I know. Aside from Joe, that is. Don't know what I did to catch a stray in all of this, but I'm now revoking your invitation to the next Diddy party, and I'll be giving it to Donald instead. I mean, I thought I was already invited last video, but uh, thank you, Joe. See, it's stuff like that. You two take the moral high ground whenever it benefits you or whenever you just want to troll. But then you two are also saying the most vile of stuff, and it isn't even hidden from the audience anymore. All right, settle down, Barack. It must be that time of the month for you. Oh, wait, it's not Juneteenth anymore. Are you saying that he's gay? I support that, Barack. Personally, the Joe dog loves that for you and will support you like the good friend I am. Joe, we're not even in June anymore. Wherever you got the idea that I was implying either of those things is absolutely crazy. Like we're almost half a month removed from Juneteenth and you still thought I was referring to that? Jesus Christ, man, what is your concept of time? Either way, I was implying that he was on his period, but uh, sure, we can also roll with what you said, Joe, if it makes you feel any better. I don't see how that would be offensive to anyone, but sure, man. Now, I definitely won't tell you what I've caught Joe doing to you during our sleepovers. Wait, what the hell is Sleepy Joe doing to me? Barack, you said you'd keep quiet because you thought it was hilarious. Don't quote me on saying that because I never said that vile act was hilarious. I think what I accurately said was, oh man, Joe, you can go to jail for that, but he deserves it, so go ahead. So yeah, don't worry, Joe, I won't tell him about what you do, but uh, Donald, if I were you, I'd stop drinking Joe's special hot chocolate during our sleepovers. Wait, but that gives me some of the best sleep of my life. It does leave me feeling a little sore in the nether region, but oh my God, Joe, have you been roofing me all these years? I've been not, not roofing you, if that's what you're asking. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna be sick. I'm sick to my damn stomach right now, and I know you guys can't see it because my webcam isn't on, but dear Lord, I am quite literally shaking. I am on my damn knees and my hand won't stop shaking. It's like I have Parkinson's on steroids. Oh God, I can feel my entire body getting numb. Am I dying? Is this what death feels like? Well, Donald, uh, I think you're fine. As you or Joe would say, simply thug it out, lil' bro. Damn, you're right, gang. Sorry, let me just lock in real quick. Ahem, we'll go ahead and get us started with this list, Barack. That was definitely an intro sequence. Not a good, but not a bad one. Just uh, well, an intro, I guess. But yeah, back onto the list at hand, and let me start this by saying that, hmm, actually, let me just say what I want to say through this Vanessa Hudgens quote. Like, yeah, people are gonna die. It's just terrible, but like, inevitable? God, she's still so bad, I'd give her some of my hot chocolate. In this instance, I agree with you, Joe. That's not funny at all and should not be tolerated. You two are vile and disgusting human beings. But anywho, let's go ahead and get this list started with a banging A tier because avalanches are pretty dope, if you ask me like if you're viewing them from a safe distance where you won't get caught in it, then uh, yeah, it's dope as hell. If you're caught in one though, then buddy, you may as well call it wraps because you will be buried under so much snow that you'll either suffocate to death or you'll freeze alive. And honestly, I don't know which one would be worse. Definitely suffocating because it's not like drowning where you'll almost instantly get your lungs filled up with water and you lose consciousness. And with suffocating, you're slowly exasperating every last ounce of oxygen in your enclosed space until it all fills up with carbon and you start off with good breaths, but then you slowly start getting raspier and raspier breaths that you no longer feel like are supplying you enough oxygen. And then your chest just gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And you can't bear the pain anymore, but you suffer that entire long while until you pass out and succumb to your fate. Man, that was dark as hell. Yeah, but oddly accurate. Well, uh, yeah, I guess we would prefer to freeze to death because I imagine that after a certain point, your body shuts down, but God, this is pretty depressing. 
can we instead just talk about how cool they look or something like that? Like, our next entry doesn't look cool at all, and it actually is probably some of the worst things that can happen to a forest because we have a forest fire coming up next, and losing all the wildlife to random flames is pretty bad. Do you all remember those wildfires in Canada, I think? I swear a lot of states were seeing a whole bunch of smog and I felt like I was in a Silent Hill video game with all that putrid air just festering there and eventually rotting in my lungs. Yeah, this definitely gets a D tier. Honestly, I loved that it was so foggy outside from the forest fires because that just gave me the excuse to crank out cigarettes like crazy. Like what was someone gonna do? Tell me that I should put it out because it can bring them harm to their lungs? Or are they gonna tell me that it makes the air smell bad? Well, guess what? It all sucked either way. That's a very odd thing to gloat about, Joe, but I respect you for having the balls to do it. I don't think it takes a brave person to do that, but rather a very, very stupid person. And Joe definitely fits that bill. But yeah, then moving on, we have blizzards up next, and I think this is our very first S tier. I think it looks pretty cool to have all the snow covering up everything, and I think this is one of the more survivable ones on this list, as long as you have generators and stuff in case the power lines get cut to your house. Plus, sometimes it can even be fun to have all that snow to frolic in after, if you don't have anything tragic happen, that is. I mean, I highly doubt that considering most of these are considered tragedies whilst also being known as natural disasters. Yeah, uh, you have a valid point there, but uh, it still gets an S tier. Following that, we have an earthquake, and this goes into A tier, because um, despite it possibly being super destructive. It's also one of the lamest ones on this list because it can literally be a little ground shaking or it can be like a whole ass planet ender type of shake that is so bad you'd think Donald fell out of bed. Bazinga, he got you Donald. Joe, for the love of Christ, don't start saying Bazinga again because I swear to God. Let him have that one, Donald. He used to love saying that word back in the day. But yeah, moving past that, we have floods. And let me tell you all that floods are definitely not terrible. Hmm, I think a solid B tier is okay for them because they're more annoying than anything else. Because imagine how annoying it would be to have your entire house flooded. Ah, yes, the first thing I think of when I'm in a flood. Oh no, it's so annoying that my house is flooded. I certainly wouldn't be angry as hell or possibly even worried about all of my loved ones. I'd just be a tad bit peeved. Donald, you knew what I freaking meant. Obviously, I'd also be mad and worry about my family, but let's pretend that it's all handy dandy and okay. Then what? Are you just supposed to not be annoyed by the fact that water has ruined most of your electronics and is rotting all the wood in your home? Yeah, because you can simply buy a new one. Now Donald is spitting right here. Yeah, I'm sure the average Joe can definitely just get up and buy a new home. I can, in fact, do that. Shut up, Joe. Ah, uh, anyways. Following that, we have back-to-back C-tier -back entries in the rock slide and the sinkhole. Because both of these aesthetically don't look cool and they can literally end your life in an instant. Like one second you're chilling and boom, a sinkhole opens beneath you. Or the other instant you're driving around a mountain and boom, you get crushed by a sudden rock slide. Like, God damn man, this is a depressing list. But hey, at least we have an S-tier banger up next because tornadoes are pretty cool. Wow, make sure we all quote Barack on that. Tornadoes are pretty cool. Okay, but it's cool what they spawned in, like they're destructive, beautiful forces of nature. And seeing footage of them always has me in awe. And they are even the reason that the TV show Storm Chasers was even made. And we had all these dudes just go to the place where the most tornadoes occur and just chased after them and recorded them. That's pretty cool, right? Almost as cool as the TV show To Catch a Predator, that show has taught me so many ways on how not to get caught. You mean on how to catch predators? No, um, I most definitely meant it as a way to not get caught. Jesus Christ. Well, anyways, following that banger, we have the tsunami going into B tier. Like, once again, this one is super cool to watch happen. But, yeah, if you're caught in this, it's basically raps, man. Type your GGs in the chat because there is not way you'd survive a tsunami with no preparation. And especially if it was one as big as the one in the picture. Like, I can't even imagine what it would be like to just be chilling on the beach and then see the waves get progressively bigger until it just engulfs the damn building I'm hiding in. An RN like me would simply swim his way out. Okay. What the hell, Joe? I know that half of me has the right to say that, but I damn sure know that you most definitely 
do not have the right to call yourself an RN. Damn, bro, you caught me. I'm not a registered nurse. Damn, I thought I was going to be able to let that one slide, but I see you're too sharp for me, Barry. Oh, that's what... Uh, hmm, okay, yeah, I am too sharp, I guess. But uh, following that, we then have volcano eruptions. And this gets a freaking S tier because Pompeii is pretty dope. Well, not the fact that it happened and people got decimated, but rather it's dope how it all happened. Wait, no, that doesn't sound good either. Uh, I just like learning about Pompeii. How about we leave it like that? Can you imagine jerking it and being covered alive in ash while in that embarrassing position? Like, it would be funny, but it would also be legendary if you ask me. Why is that the first thing you think of? Anyways, moving on to our last entry, we have, uh, I don't really know what this is supposed to be. I'm guessing it's just our planet exploding or the sun getting way too hot that our planet dies. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to assume that it's one that leads to the destruction of our planet. And while that may be the coolest to view from an outsider's perspective, it's, uh, not going to be able to be seen considering we'd all be dead. So that has to get a D tier. Nah, man, think of all the aliens that are watching us. They'll get a big show from that. Joe, aliens do not exist. That's what they want you to think, man. But I swear we live in a glass dome and are watched by higher powers. You got into Hunter's salvia bag, didn't you, Joe? Tee hee. Woo, maybe.